So here's the interior of the trash can filters. I had an issue one day where this one was leaking. There are quite a few fry in this tank. Hey, what's up Aquamios? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another Fish Friday. If you are new here, my name is Tobias. And in the past couple videos, I've been planning out my DIY pond build. And in last week's video, I showed what my pond filter and waterfall system was kind of going to look like. And in that video, I showed my filter as a DIY trash can filter. And over the past week, I've kind of been thinking about it. And what I actually want to do is I want to build a double DIY trash can filter for the pond because I was thinking about it and a double trash can filter will be more effective. It'll be interesting to build. And also I am planning on getting a couple of new fish and my existing fish that I have, they are going to grow. So I'm going to end up with a bigger bio load in the new pond. So I might as well do a double trash can filter. So my waterfall plans that I showed in last week's video, it will still look like that from the side, but from the front, it's just going to be a little bit wider. So I'm not actually changing a whole lot. Okay guys, so I'm doing a screen recording of my computer right now, and let me just show you guys this real quick. So I did a rough sketch of what my DIY double trash can filter is going to look like, and this is it right here. So I know it's looking pretty rough guys, it's probably pretty hard to read, but this is the basic idea. I went ahead and photoshopped what this might actually look like, and that's this right here. And as you can see guys, I have two brute trash cans. These are 32 gallon trash cans. This is the same trash can that I'm using as my trash can filter for my pool pond right now. And as you can see here, I have some labels for everything. And right up here, I have a one inch PVC pipe going into the trash can on the right hand side and I will be using uniseals. If you don't know what a uniseal is, they're these really cool things. It's like basically a black ring. It's made out of some kind of rubber. And if you are to drill a hole in something, for example, this trash can, you pop a uniseal in there, you stick a PVC pipe through and it will make a watertight seal. So this is the input and I do have my input up at the top. Some of you might know that in my existing trash can filter, I have the input down at the bottom of the trash can. The reason that I want it to be at the top on this one is because I actually got a leak at the bottom of the trash can around the intake of my existing trash can filter. So I don't want that to happen on the new one. So I'm going to have the input at the top. And then what's going to happen is it is going to fill up this trash can with water because my pond pump will be pumping water through this intake right here. Water is going to fill up in this trash can. It's going to pass through all the bio media. When it gets up to this level, it will overflow into the second trash can filter. I have them connected with a three inch PVC pipe. The reason that I'm using a larger PVC pipe to connect the trash cans is because something that I learned with my existing trash can filter is that water will get pumped into your trash can filter faster than gravity will let it escape. So you always want to have a larger output than you do input. Because if the output is the same size or smaller than your input, your trash can is going to overflow over the top. So that's why I'm using a three inch PVC pipe to connect these two trash cans. And I will also be using uniseals. I checked and they actually make uniseals up to like four inches, I believe. So yeah, they have three inch, they have four inch. And the same thing is going to happen in this trash can on the left hand side, the water will fill up, pass through all the bio media, and it will exit through this PVC pipe in the middle right here. And this is actually a PVC elbow and the water will come down right here, go down a small waterfall and enter the pond. And I went ahead and photoshopped what the internals will look like. So here's the interior of the trash can filters. So as you can see guys, water is going to enter through this one inch PVC pipe. On the inside of the trash can, there will be a 90 degree elbow with another PVC pipe going straight down and I have these labeled as well. So right here is half of a five gallon bucket 
and I also have this in my existing trash can filter. The purpose of this cut in half bucket is for the intake pipe to go inside there. There will be holes drilled in the bucket and it will allow the water to disperse. And the purpose for this is that I don't want the bio media, which is going to be lava rocks, to press up right against that intake pipe. So that's why I'm creating some space around the pipe with this cut in half bucket. And as you can see here, it's basically the same thing in the other trash can as well, except, you know, we're using the three inch PVC pipe and the larger elbow also going into the bucket. This will be filled with biomedia as well. And then the water will exit through this output right here. And yeah, for the biomedia guys, I'm just going to use lava rocks. That's what I have working in my existing trash can filter. And it seems to work pretty well. I have lava rocks inside of mesh bags. So yeah, I'm going to do the same exact thing inside these. And this should give us some pretty good filtration in the new pond. All right guys, so it's the next day. I hope you guys liked the plans for the new pond filter. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on up at the pool pond right now, just in case this is like the first video of mine that you're ever seeing. So here are the pool ponds. I'm realizing the water is getting a bit low. I need to fill it up a bit. I need to fill this one up too. But uh, these are the uniseals that I was talking about. There are these little black rings and they make that watertight seal. Like I said, I had an issue one day where this one was leaking. So that's why I want to have the new intake up at the top of the trash can instead. Check it out, the fish down there. And then the new trash can filter setup thing is gonna go right here. I'm probably gonna take this little garden bed down. Maybe I'll move it over a little bit to give us a little bit more room to play with right there. And then, yeah, those trash cans will probably go right here. There's gonna be a little waterfall. I'll move all this filtration over to the new pool pond and the skimmer, of course. Probably have the skimmer here, the filtration on that side so I can dig up this ground, you know? And I know I upload like a bunch of different kinds of content to my channel, but while I'm doing this pond build, I'm really considering only uploading videos of the build during that time so I can focus my energy on that. So for example, if it takes me like, I don't know, like three weeks or a month to build the in-ground pond, during those three weeks or four weeks or however long it takes me, I might only upload pond videos. Let me know what you guys think about that because right now I'm uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm only uploading fish videos on Friday, but I'm really starting to realize that like doing the microphone videos on Monday and then Wednesday I do like other tech reviews and stuff. I'm realizing that that stuff takes like a lot of time and it might slow down the pond build when I get started. So I'm I'm really considering only doing uh, pond videos during that time. Let me know what you guys think about that. And I might as well give you guys a quick update on my tanks down here. Uh, so right now I got all the guppies out of here, but I'm actually keeping this single, uh, I have one single female guppy in here inside this breeding net that actually has a swim bladder problem. I haven't fed this fish in a couple days it doesn't seem to have improved so I might have to start administering some medications because I'm, I'm guessing that either it's not due to constipation and it might actually be some sort of infection or something like that causing that buoyancy problem so yeah I'm gonna have to see what to do about that but all the other guppies are out of this tank and in my 20 gallon and this is them right here guys, all my Endler Fancy Guppy hybrids. They're all in this tank right here. They're all doing really well. My tanks are like very heavily stocked right now because all the fish are out of that 15 gallon. So it's like there's more fish in the 20 gallon. So I'm just having to do like water changes regularly, keep an eye on the parameters. And then of course the indoor guppy pond here, everything's doing really well guys. And thank you to those of you who were able to identify these plants. I think these were called arrow plants and I think this one was called Pennywort, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they're really like taking root, you know? Look at those roots, they're really like growing like crazy. And then of course the 10 gallon guys with the peace lily right over here, really taking root as well. I know the lighting is like really bad right now guys. During this time of the day, we have a lot of glare down here on the tanks. But as you can see, there are quite a few fry in this tank from these mosaic guppies. Let me see if I can get a good look at them. Yeah, see? 
But anyways guys, that's gonna be just about it for this video. If you guys did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.